In this tutorial, we will learn some tokens in detail. Now, what was the token? Token smallest individual unit in a program is called a token. So, these are the types: keywords, identifier, letters, operators, and punctuation. So, keywords reserve word for the compiler or interpreter which can't be used as identifier. So, these are the reserve words which cannot be used as a identifier. So, we will learn about the identifier. Example if continue this so these are the words that have a special meaning to the compiler so we cannot use them as an identifier. The next identifier. So what does uh, identifier mean? A Python identifier is a name used to identify a variable, function, class, module and other objects. So we will we are just concerned about the variable, we will learn about the other things in your higher studies. Okay. So variable. So we will we are just looking for the variable. Okay. So an identifier starts with a letter A to Z or A to small a to small z or an underscore. So identifier can start with these from capital A to capital Z, from small a to small z or underscore. So these are the starting characters. The next followed by zero or more letters so it can be followed by anything like numbers letters anything underscore and digits 0 to 9 so these are the things which can come after it the next python does not allow special characters so it will not allow the special characters except this underscore so the other characters like at the rate hatch so these things are excluded from it okay the next identifier must not be a keyword the rule for identifier is that it must not be a keyword the next python is a case sensitive programming language so python is a case sensitive programming language means if once a capital a is used then you have to use the same name with capital a until uh, in the whole program okay the next some valid identifiers are my book all the alphabets are there one capital alphabet also the next file one two three this one is also valid because because one two three is after the file so we cannot have one two three file because that it cannot start with the digit the next z two d t so this is also one so it is also valid date underscore to this is also valid because underscore is allowed then underscore no this one is also allowed then next some invalid identifiers first one is my book here as you can see space is there so space are not allowed in the identifier the next one one two three five means the one two three starting with digit is not allowed the last one is at the rate symbol so special characters are not allowed in the identifiers so you can't use them then next are the literals so now literals so literals in python can be defined as number text or other data that represent values to be stored in variables so the values which are stored in the variables are known as the literals means those values will be stored in variables so first one is string literal in python so example is name is equal to some john so name is the variable and john is the string so since it is a string it is in single quotes so here as you can see single line string so these are the single line strings the next one is address jorhat slash asam so this is a multi line string it means when you use a backslash then it will include it with the second line it means when we will use the print command then jorhat asam will come together so this is a multiple line string okay the next numeric literals in python so let's see the numeric literals first one is the integer literal means the integers that is age is equal to 22 so as you can see here integer 22 is stored so these are the, this is the example of integer literal the next one is float literal means like 6.2 means the number 
which are in decimal expression. Then the next one is special literal none, means none will be stored. Then here a non literal is used to indicate absence of value. So none means there is no value. So as you can see here name is equal to none means there is no value for name. But when we use the print command then the output will be no any means the same as it is written. The next boolean literal can have either value true or false means the value can be either true or false for the boolean literals. Okay. So these are the literals. Then we have learned about the complex uh, means the uh, identifiers and before that we have learned about the keywords. So remember it. Okay. Thank you.